Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta and today we are going to talk about higher order constructs that is a reflective formative scale. The nomenclature reflective formative here means that the lower orders are on reflective scale and the higher orders are on the formative scale. Now how, how to do the reporting? We very well know that we will do the we will first test the reliability and validity of the lower order constructs and then we will report for the higher order constructs. Let's directly go into the smart PLS and try to understand what's a reflective formative model. Job satisfaction, organizational commitment, and environmental perception, all three, the arrows are moving out of it. Now, this HOC is formed by job satisfaction, organizational commitment, and environmental perception. It, is, it means that the statements of lower order are loaded on HOC. Now, in this case, the arrows are moving in inside, and therefore, it's a formative scale. Now, we can very well report the reliability and validity of the lower order constructs one, two, three, four, and five. They all are on reflective and the, and you can report reliability and validity very easily. Then we will see that if one of the construct is on formative scale, then what to do? Okay, we'll go and calculate PLS algorithm, start the calculation. We will first see the outer loading for all the statements. If any of the statement is read, we cannot delete from here directly, we will have to follow the procedure. The procedure is check that is uh, the construct able to achieve the overall reliability or not. If everything is green here, then we will not delete the statement. You will not report reliability and validity of higher order constructs HOC from here. There are two reasons for it. The first reason is that this uh, reliability and validity is calculated on the basis of these statements, which we cannot report which we have seen in the previous video of reflective reflective model. The first reason. Second reason is that this is a formative scale and for the formative scale, we never ever report the Cronbeck alpha rho composite reliability and average variance expected. Fine. So you can report for lower order constructs 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. You can very well report all the statistics which are related to it. If we have achieved reliability, then we will go in discriminant validity. Diagonally, we will check the things. If the diagonally, we will check the things means 0 0.871, 0 0.836, HOC, ignore. We cannot consider here 0 0.799, 0 0.816, 0 0.866. This value should be diagonally maximum. So that is related to the foreigner Larkin criterion. Now I will go in heterotet monotet ratio. Again, HOC is ignored. Apart from this, for all other constructs, this value should be less than 0.85. Then we will go in collinearity statistics. We will check is everything less than is less than 3 or not. Outer and inner VIF. If we have achieved this, it means that we have achieved the reliability and validity of the lower order constructs. Now we have to achieve for the higher order constructs. Now what we can do? We can always go for working on latent scores instead of the measured variable directly. So this we can do by go in PLS algorithm, go in latent variable and I have already explained that you can copy this on Excel format. You can press here, copy it on the Excel format and uh, what you can do is, just a minute, let me explain it. I will go in higher order constructs. You can copy this on FAG and click here and paste it. So this latent scores will be saved. After that, file, save as, rename. Don't uh, work on the original, for, uh, original file. Save it as higher order constructs. Make sure that it is in a CSV format, save it. After this is being done, again go back on the model, click here on the demo, this, and right click, import the data file. Now this file, which you have saved as higher order constructs, bring it here, activate the file. Now, after you will activate this file, what will happen is that those latent scores which you have saved will appear here directly. Can you see? Fine. Again, come back on the canvas. And this time, you will delete all the constructs, that is job satisfaction, organization commitment, environmental perception, and HOC. You will delete it. And instead of this, you will load directly the latent scores. So environmental perception, job satisfaction, organizational commitment together will be brought here. 
I'll rename this as HOC, higher order constraint HOC. Now this HOC we have already discussed it is on the formative scale and here it is showing that it is reflective. What you will do? Right click it and make it formative. Done. I will connect this thing with here. I will connect this thing here. Right. Now how to uh, achieve the reliability of HOC that is higher order constructs when it is formative. So for this purpose you will have to do a guide directly go into the bootstrapping first start the calculation. Two things you will have to do. One you will have to run bootstrapping and the second is PLS algorithm. One and also run the PLS algorithm. Start the calculation. Done. Now in uh, start with PLS algorithm, first of all check collinearity statistics. Check for environmental perception, job satisfaction and organizer commitment specifically. It should be less than 3. I am talking about 1, 2, 3 in PLS algorithm. 1, 2 and 3. This should be less than 3. Still we are just talking about reliability of higher order constructs. Still we are on the measurement model only. right? Once we have achieved this, we will go in outer ways. Uh, for sorry, from bootstrapping, we'll go, from bootstrapping. Make sure you go from bootstrapping only, and check the outer weights. This value is less than zero point zero five. Done. No problem here. This is significant. Job satisfaction to HOC, p value more than zero point zero five. This is a dispute. Organizational commitment to HOC less than 0.05, fine, we have achieved this. But job satisfaction, we cannot delete directly from here. If you recall the procedure of formative assessment, what we'll do, we will again go to the outer loading and we will check is this green? One, two, three. Yes, it is green. So there is no problem in all these three latent scores. So we have achieved the reliability of the measurement, uh, measurement model. Again, we'll go back on the canvas. Now this is done. Now we have to do the reporting of the structural model. That is from HOC to staying intention, HOC to co-workers, co-workers to staying intention. Again, we will go back in PLS algorithm only and the results are very well ready for us. So we can see here that uh, from here, now we will go to path coefficients. Outer weight complete, outer loading complete. Now we will go in path coefficients. In path coefficients, we will see this HOC to co-worker. Is it significant? P-value less than 0 0.05? Yes, we have. So we can say that this path is significant. HOC to staying intention. Yes, this is also significant. Co-workers to staying intention. This is also significant. We can confirm this thing by confidence intervals bias corrected. Let us see the value. This value that is between 2.5% to 97.5%, the zero should not exist in between this confidence interval. So positive to positive, there is no presence of zero. What do I mean by presence of zero? If this is negative and this is positive, it means that there will be a zero in it. If zero is present, this, co this path is not significant. Positive to positive, so we can say this path is significant. Positive to positive, this path is also significant, right? We can see in the demo, we can also report this thing for the inner model. We want uh, not the PLS algorithm, bootstrapping and we will see in inner model. Yeah, all the paths are having p value less than 0, the uh, p value less than 0 0.05, which is indicated in the brackets. Okay, now again, we will go in PLS algorithm, we will report R square from here. Fine, we will report S square from here. We can always report collinearity statistics from here and the model fit from here. So this was all about working on reflective formative skill. Thank you. You can subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter.